Hey, what's going on everybody? So I just have a super exciting day today. Uh, I just got back from LAX and uh, just picked up this package here. Uh, it's a new pet of mine and I'm super excited for you guys all to see it. I have the enclosure right back here that I've uh, started dabbling and designing with uh, in terms of like the rocks and the woodwork and everything like that. So if you guys want to check that out with you, I'll definitely show you that. But um, first, of, first off, before I finalize all that, I want to unbox these guys. I've already taken out most of the screws from the top. Let me just take off the label real quick. So, as you can see, the live animal. Venomous animal. So, let's see. Let's take out these last final screws. Very really good. So first off, we got some documentation of some kind. And these are uh, from my new friend, Ezekiel Cavazo. Cavazos. Cavazos, over in Minnesota. Uh, he has an Instagram page. I will definitely link it into the description, or actually I'll post it like right here, his IG uh, handle, or his app. But uh, so far, you know, everything looks good. It's cool, he put in the eggshells that the animals were actually hatched in. And uh, we got some packing peanuts, so let's uh, get these out. Here's number one, I'll show you that in a second. And we got number two. And so these are really cool animals. Uh, they're venomous, they're super pretty, and what they are are Mexican beaded lizards. So we got one baby here. These were just hatched back in March, I believe. And so that's really exciting. And here's number two. And they're all perfectly healthy. I checked on them prior and I just wanted to pack them up again just so I can unbox it for you guys. Um, so, you know, Ezekiel's a cool guy, super easy to work with. I mean, I literally just DM'd him on Instagram and then within, you know, an hour or so I got a response. We talked a little bit, uh, sent him payment right away. I mean, right off the bat, super trustworthy guy, super straightforward, very easy to work with. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited uh, to, to have some of his uh, baby, baby, uh, beaded lizards. And these are Heloderma heridum heridum, and that's different than the Heloderma exasperatum, which most people have and are very common. These are a little bit more on the uh, uncommon side. So it looks like you get birth certificates. Birth certificates from his, uh, his reptile company, Envisioned, let's see if you can do that. Envision Exotics, and the, I think that's his Instagram name also. So then we got certificate number two for the other one. So it says they were born March 24th and March 23rd. And um, he also provided me with some care sheets, which is great. Um, and also, you know, he, he also does set a little discretion advisory or disclosure stating that these are venomous animals and that, you know, potentially you can get harmed with them, which is good. You know, you, you definitely need that kind of uh, legal documentation. So we'll put that aside. Let me give you guys a closer look at the babies. And then we're checking them out. So we got number one here. Hopefully they're 1.1 male and female pair, but, you know, we don't know. Can't tell until the actually uh, are of age so they're beautiful so these guys are the super black variants they'll eventually lose all this yellow and just have some slight white speckling but turn eventually all black super excited for them i've been waiting for them for a few days now and uh okay so yeah that's super cool you know, he packaged them well, shipped them off super quickly, and you know, I can't complain. He's such a good guy, honest guy, uh, works very quickly. And uh, you know, when, when that time comes when he does have more and you do decide to buy possibly from him, 
you know, he's a very trustworthy guy. So highly, highly recommend him. Okay, and then let's get to the enclosure. So, so far, excuse this light, it just kind of fell. I'll light it up in a second. But I did all the hard part. You know, I had to open this up just so I can get the lighting in and get all the cords in because we have a thermostat here that's connected. We also have cork bark, siru, Japanese siru rocks. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Obviously water bowl and a piece of grapevine for them to climb because they do like to climb every so often. So, you know, it's just nice. I do have a uh, substrate that I will be putting in, but I just wanted to finalize all the work first before I decided to do that. So let me mount these lights, these LED lights, and we'll get back to it shortly. Yeah, so right now we got the lights on. This is a LED strip I just picked off of Amazon. It's a waterproof and everything like that. It's full, kind of, I think it's like full spectrum. There's some red bulbs, blue bulbs, and those are interchangeable. Um, we got another LED that's like at the ZoomEd Nano LED or something just to illuminate the enclosure. Um, but we kept a little, like, a little bit darker over here. I might just play around with these just to blend the colors in a little bit more because it is a little bit more on the bluer side, especially over here. Might not be a bad thing. And then we got the ceramic heat bulb and that's controlled here by the uh, the thermostat, the ZoomEd thermostat that I have. Um, I'll plug that in shortly. But yeah, I mean, it looks good. So far, so good. I'm gonna put in the substrate and we'll go with it from there. Let's, uh, let's put you guys here. So I think I'm happy with how the skate turned out. Um, I mean, if anything, I can always change it, right? But uh, for now, let's just leave it. I'm gonna go ahead and wash the rocks and clean them off real quick and then do a little bit of cleaning in here and then we'll get back to it and I'll show you guys once I, uh, once I finish up. Thank you. All right, so we got all the uh, the rocks in the enclosure clean. It's time to put in the substrate. So we got some forest floor. Um, I usually like to put the rocks and stuff in there first, and then let the the, the substrate surround it, only because it helps secure the uh, the things inside of there more, uh, just because it's holding in. But you know, depends on. I mean, personal preference, I guess. So let's do this. So have a look and tell me what you guys think. You know, this is their enclosure. It's a good enough size. It's about three feet by two feet by, I don't know, 18 inches maybe high. You got the hide here, the rocks, of course, so they can uh, you know scratch their nails and everything just to make sure that it's filed down. Then we got, you know, cypress, I think this is cypress mulch. I don't know, either way. The, the uh, piece of wood looks good. So um, 
Let's put the water bowl in. Water bowl in here. Make sure it's nice and secure. And then that's it. You know, I'll fill this up with water shortly with the water bottle and we'll be good to go. So let's uh let's get them in. too much I'll let them adjust to their new home and uh, you know probably give them about a week or so before I do anything or socialize and I'll probably feed them in the next few days if you guys want to see that I can do a feeding video I mean let me know down in the comments what you guys think but you know hit that like button send that notification bell if you guys you know these guys are asking you to do that so if you can do that for them that'd be great you know they're just adjusting the new home so hitting the like button definitely will help <laughs> so I definitely appreciate it everybody um, yeah, but there you go. Check them out. They're already exploring. I need some help coming up with the names too, so down in the comments if you can put down some name suggestions, that'd be awesome. Look how cute they are, oh my gosh. Heloderma heridum heridum. One of two species of venomous lizards. The other being the Gila monster, which are related to them, which are Heloderma suspectum and Heloderma synctum. So these are Heridum Heridum. There's four variants of beaded lizards, and uh, these are one of them. So thank you guys again for watching, and uh, like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see more of these guys and also potentially a lot of homes that I sell at, out here in Orange County in Los Angeles. Uh, I do post a lot of that stuff too. So, you know, uh, follow me on Instagram. You know, also check out my friend Ezekiel, Envisioned Exotics. So he's uh, he's also posting a lot of things. He also has one of the more the most rare uh, species of beaded lizard, which is the uh, Heloderma alvarezi. And so those are really cool too. And hopefully I'll have some of those soon and maybe I'll add those to the collection. But for now, thank you so much. I appreciate all you guys and uh, hopefully see you soon in the next video. Bye.